we're into round three. Um, this is Zero versus Knight. You know, it looks like Zero has switched to Narakami, which is very nice. We've just had the summer camp event, and it looks like Zero is using the, the brand new skin. So it's Gold Paladin versus Narakami. Very interesting match. So he's got the Vermilions in hand, uh, grade one and grade two. So he is all set up. Uh, once again, uh, Knight having to ride the perfect guard. And so we've seen both Knight and Zero um, both lose to Solo Poppy only. The winner of this game will go and meet Solo Poppy only in the final in the next round. Very interesting. Let's see the triggers he's running. Six critical, three draw, and four heals. Very interesting. Yep, that's the crit grade one to play. You want to save the other grade one to draw your card uh, when you ride into your grade three. Oh, that's a very unfortunate heal. So, will Knight be able to do the turn one Ezo? I know it's not actually turn one, it's actually turn two, but it is a joke. Oh, does he have the grade one? We will see. Or is it just the 10k vanilla that he's got? Mm, nope, two 10k vanillas. Wow. When Kyrf goes off, it goes off strong, but getting it to go off is very, very difficult. Oh, the heal actually activates this time. But that is Zero going through two of his heals very early on in this game. You'll have to see how that plays out. The first perfect guard he's drawn into. He doesn't have the two counter blast for it, so that won't activate, unfortunately. Oh, he's called the 5k early just to deal damage. He just wants to be aggressive with this build. Narakami is actually a very, very good out to Go Paladin, because Go Paladin always has a wall of grade twos, or almost always has a wall of grade twos. So having something that can clear that out of the way um, is very, very strong. It's a good counter choice to choose against what he knew his opponent was probably going to play. And there's the Ezel itself. Always intimidating. The Love Here Shooter. This one when it's got more rear guards than the point it gets the plus three. It's not a great two that I use in my Gold Paladin build, but it's your own. Everyone has their own build of decks. Oh, very strong heal trigger at that moment. That was unusual. Grade 2 when... what? No, that's not right. No, where are you? Ah, oh, Carboth won't look at the top 3 for a good 3. Or top 5 for a good 3, sorry. Hmm. Very unusual. This is the brand new artwork of the Vermilion. Which is the current season card. It looks a bit, a bit like Vermilion in the Blood, actually. It's going to be very confusing when that comes up. We have three cards that look very, very similar. So, yep, attack with the Vanguard because obviously he plays the six critical. I think that was his third draw trigger. Oh, okay. Well, it is his third draw trigger, so he's got the third one in the hand. So now he only has crits and heals. Uh, he was thinking about using the grade zero skill, but it seems very not worthwhile to use it to destroy a curve. So at this point, what zero can do is he can strangle out the Ezel deck. 
like not allowing it to go to the four damage. Try and push in the pressure. Which forced him to waste his hand, as you can see him doing. It's very unusual discarding the grade two to roll. Most people would have just called grade two, but. I, mean, I don't know what his hand is, so it's very difficult to see. Yeah, that trigger is very necessary. In fact, stop that rear guard attacking the vanguard. Now it has to attack the rear guard instead. And it also puts him on 4 damage. Which allows the Vermillion to activate. Which is possibly what Knight was considering. I was thinking I don't want to waste my grade 2s. So Vermillion's going to be able to do that at least twice. Presumably he's not going to use the skill of the Grade Zero. Hmm. Well, that's only a 14k rearguard now. The this side here. Uh, a good heal trigger. Well, that's all the heal triggers gone, but at least he's back down to 2 damage. And that all speaks as a 1 4. Might as well just clear the board. And then attack strike 4. That's a very, very strong turn there from. Zero. But this is where Knight can really do the the countermeasure. It depends on whether or not he puts zero on four damage again, because if he does, then Vermillion will activate once more. So this really more comes down to how many perfect guards Knight has in hand. And how many heals he has left in deck. Which is two. Nate has a very different way of doing this. Normally I would use Ezel's effect before calling anything, just to see what I'd draw into, and then decide from there what I want to call from hand. As he seemed to opt to calling the grade 2s first. Heal trigger helps quite a bit, but leaves him only one heal trigger left in his deck. That makes that 22k column, so it's hitting whether this is a trigger or not. Oh, well, go for the reaper. Ah! He's decided he doesn't want to lose out in his grade twos. He's playing defensively against the Narakami deck. Is this the one that allows you to take damage? Yes, it is. Which means that the Vermillion will activate anyway. Yes, we don't need to see the thing. Thank you. <laughs> I remember the new company that works. I was about to say thank you, Cat Daddy, but that is the other game that I play. It's called WWE's Card. Oh, there's a critical trigger. Oh, that's a baseball. A double critical. Okay, this is going to work out really badly for Knight if this doesn't get perfect guarded. It's a shame, he could have put the double trigger on the grade 1 and it would have been a 15k. It'd have still hit. The floor is slippery. <laughs> He is quite correct. Actually, my floor isn't slippery, it's very dry. 
very warm day here in Scotland. So the Ezo skill, calling the Bowmans. The Bowmans is very strong because it means if you get a 9k rear guard, it still isn't going to hit over it. But, I mean, Zero does have a Vermillion sitting there, so we'll see how that pans out. So now the order of the attacks is all that matters. Oh, he's chosen to take out the rearguard. Very interesting. Mm. Now, I would consider just not attacking. Okay. If he didn't attack, then the million could have actually quite skill. But it looks like he's trying to put the pressure on trying and win. We need it down to the 9 cards in deck, so... That's not particularly necessary, because he's absolutely going to use Vermillion skill. Just as I'm seeing if he can just try and win this, this game, this turn. It's going to be very difficult to get one for million skill again. In fact, maybe not even possible because he's out of heal trigger. Oh, there's no pressure guard behind. He's got one heal trigger left in deck, and he didn't hit it. Double trigger, but both in the crits. Which means that Zero is going on to the finals to face solo popularly.